Hi, good one. How are you today? Okay, today in math, we are going to do the revision. We are going to revise the changing numbers by hundreds and tens. How do we compare the numbers? And how do we write numbers before, after, and between? Okay, let's get started. Changing numbers by hundreds and tens. If you remember, for the big numbers, we use place value blocks. These are place value blocks. These ones stand for hundreds. These pink ones, they stand for tens. And the red ones stand for the ones. So, when we write the numbers, we have hundreds, tens, and ones. Now, when we changing the number by hundreds or by tens, we will change only one digit. Now, let's have a look. Now, here in this box, I have six hundred. Seven tens, seven tens we call seventy, and three ones. The number is six hundred seventy three. Six hundred seventy three. Now I'm going to add two hundred. If I'm going to add two hundred, the two hundred will go to hundreds blocks. There, there. I added two hundred. 200. When I'm adding hundreds, the tens digit and ones digit stay the same. Only the hundreds digit is changing because I will add 6 plus 2. How much is 6 plus 2? It will be 8. So only the hundreds digit, number 6 here, will change to 8. Number 7 and 3 will stay the same. The answer will be 873. Do you understand? Only the hundreds digit will change. Now, when I'm adding tens, I have the number 673. Now I'm going to add the tens. I will not change the hundreds digit. The number 6 will stay the same. I will change the tens digit because I will add two more. And the number will not be 7. Now it will be 9. The ones digit stays the same. So only tens digit is changing. The number 7 in the middle is the tens digit. When I add 20 more, that digit, the tens digit, will change to 9. Number 6 and number 3 stay the same. One more time. Here we have 452. Now I'm going to add 300 more. I will add 300 to the 300 blocks, to the 100 blocks. I will add 300 more. Now, which digit will change? The hundreds digit, which is the 4. The 5 and 2 stays the same. So only number 4 will change. It will not be 4. It will be 4, 5, 6, 7. It will be 7. So the final answer will be 752. The tens and ones do not change. They stay the same. Now, when I'm adding the tens, which digit stays the same? The hundreds digit and ones digit. Only the digit in the middle, which is the digit for the tens, will change. So, 5 plus 30 is 3 tens. 1, 2, 3. 5 plus 3 equals 8. The number 5 will change into 8. Number 4 and 2 stays the same. You can do it also using the models. When you're adding 
30, you add three more tens. That means the digit in the tens place, number four, will change. Now we will not have four tens, but seven tens. It will become seven in the middle. Number six and five stay the same. Now I want to use, I want to add hundreds. One, two, three. Which digit is in the hundred place? Six, right? So six hundreds now will become nine hundreds. Only the six digit will change to nine. Four and five will stay. Now we're going to take away. We have 368. 368 take away two. Cross them out. What will happen? The hundreds digit will not be three anymore. It will be only one. The tens and ones stay the same. So three will change to one. It will become 168. Now let's take away tens. We will not touch the hundreds digit. The 300 will stay the same. We will work with tens. We will cross two of them away. How many will stay? Four. So number six will change to four. Hundred and one stays the same. Only number six changes to four. You can use also mental math. When you adding tens digits, you will add the digits, these two digits. In the hundreds, the tens digits is in the middle and in the tens, it is the first one here. So seven plus two equals nine. It will be 493. The four and three does not change. When you're joining, when you're adding hundreds, the hundreds digits are the first one. 4 plus 2 equals 6. The tens and ones will stay. When you're taking away, hundreds digit is the first one. You will take 5 minus 1 equals 4. You will write 4. Tens and ones stay the same. Now, when you're taking away tens, the tens digit in the hundreds is in the middle and in the tens, it is the first one. So four take away one equals three. The hundreds and ones stay the same. Now we're going to work with this worksheet, please. Open it up. If you want to work alone and complete it and then check your answers, you can do that. I'm going to give you the answers now. 669 plus 20. As you can see, we are adding 20. You can draw, you can use the models, or you can use the mental math. What shall we do? I will draw. I will draw two tens. What will be the answer now? The hundred stays the same. The tens will change. They will not be six. They will be six, seven, eight. It will become eight. And ones stay the same. They will be nine. Now for the second one, I'm going to use the mental math. 669 plus 200. I know that hundreds digit is the first one. So I will add them together. Six plus two equals eight. And the rest, I will copy the tens and ones stays the same. Again, if you want to work alone, you can do it alone and check your answers. Next one, 335 plus 50. We're going to add 50, which means five tens. One, two, three, four, five. I drew five tenths. Hundreds digit and ones digit stays the same. Only the tens digit will change. So hundreds, it's three hundred, it stays the same. Now we count how many tens do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have eight tens 
and the ones stays the same five. 385. For the addition of hundreds, I will use mental math. I know that hundreds of digits are the first one. So 3 plus 5 equals 8. And the tens and ones remain the same. 35. The answer is 835. Let's go to the last one. Now we're going to take away. 427 take away 10. From tens, I will take one away. Cross it out. How many you will have left? Hundreds and ones stays the same. So you will have 400 left. But tens, we will not have two tens, only one ten. One ten will be left. And ones stay the same, seven, as it is written in here. Seven. Now, to solve the hundreds, I will use the mental math. 4 take away 1. How much is 4 take away 1? Put the fingers, 4 fingers up and take 1 away. How many you will have left? 3. So I will write 3 and tens with 1 stays the same. 327. Let's just check the answers. 869, yes. 385. 835, 417, 327. Very good. Next page, please. Once again, if you want to work alone, please do so. If you want to work with me, work with me. 853, take away 20. 20 means how many tens we will take away? Two tens. Cross it away. Way to go. Very good. What happens to hundreds? Nothing, right? 800 will stay the same. How many tens you will have left now? One, two, three. Three tens only. That means you will write three in the middle. What happens to ones? Nothing. You will copy number three. Three stays the same. Three ones. Now to solve the hundreds, I will use mental math. Eight is the first digit for hundred. 2 is the first digit, 400. 8 take away 2 equals how much? Quickly put 8 fingers up on your hands. 888. Eight, eight. Now take away 2. How many you have left? How many? Yes, 6. You have 6 left. Very good, boys and girls. What will you do with 10s and 1s? Nothing. Copy them. The 10s and 1s stay the same. Next one, we're going to add 586, add 10 more. 10 more means one more 10 bar. What happens to hundreds? Nothing. What happens to ones? Nothing. Stay the same. So 5 and 6 will stay the same. But the tens digit in the middle will not be 8. It will be 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It will be 9. And the 1s will stay the same. Let's go and use the mental math quickly for the hundreds. 5 plus 1 equals 6. And the 10s and 1s stay the same. Great. Let's just check the answers. 635, very good. 596, very good. 686, good. Now the last one. Let's go and do. Take away 30 from this number. 394, take away 30. That means three tens. Cross them out. What happens to hundreds and ones? Nothing. They stay the same. The answer will be 300. Now 90 will change. We don't have nine tens. We have only one, two, three, four, five, six, six left. Very good. What about the ones? The one stays the same. Very good. Let's go do the mental math for the hundreds. Three take away three. How much will be three take away three? Zero. Very good. What are we going to do now? We will not write it. We will write only 
the remaining tens and ones. Ninety-four. And the last one. 652 plus 30. We add in three tens. Three tens means three bars of ten. Let's go and do three tens. One, two, three. What happens to hundreds? Nothing. We will copy the hundreds. What happens to tens? We have more of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight tens. Right? Eight. And how many ones we have? Two. Very good. Now we use the mental math. Six plus three equals how much? Equals nine. What happens to tens and ones? They stay the same. Copy five and copy two. I hope you understand this lesson. It's not difficult. Now we move on to the next lesson. We will do comparing.